Okay, one thing I didn't mention in the first video was the valve guides and the valves um, just like smooth and no wiggle whatsoever. And I will say, I bought a couple valves from 440 Source for that other Chinese head that I had, the C Speed Speedmaster head. And uh, there's some slop in there that I, I'm thinking, hmm, well, let me compare this to one that I actually spent a bunch of money on. See the difference? And sure enough, that one there has slop. And then also the 440 source valve, the intake valve, um, it wouldn't even go in. It had like a burr on the end of it. You have to file the burr off to get the valve to actually go through there. But then, just a little bitty nip, even with the exhaust valve in either one, it, it fit, but there was still slop. Container. Valve spring with damper. And that one's the same way, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, what's that? You see this with this valve. There is nothing. Smooth. Smooth. I'm not sure if it's really good to pull it through that. Man. That's nice. Crazy good. And there's no slop whatsoever. Not imperceivable. <laughs> it's, it is nutty. Let me pop this off here. Oh, hold on. I was going to lift some weights. Man, you got the big muscles. You got the really big muscles. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Now that one there it does. It almost feels like a little bitty razor. Totally smooth, but this one that with the going in, which with a turbo motor you're supposed to have not have good low lift flow on the exhaust till about 200. But that's just like micro ridge right there. There is none here. Just a little bit. I mean, it feels almost like a razor tip. And everything else is so smooth. Wait. Let's see here. What am I looking at? What you working on, Isla? You gonna clean up your brother's transmission? Huh? Doing some work. Excellent. Just like in the pictures. these bonus dual springs I didn't know I was gonna get that's cool I thought I just could it's too bright to see it I'm sure you could hug out the exhaust more 
you were wrong on the blower, but with a turbo, I just don't think you need super high flown exhaust for turbos because it's under such higher compression. I mean, up to two to one exhaust to intake, so your mass. Everything looks good to me. I like them. Well worth it. It'll probably be a year before it ever runs, considering I've got so much more to do, like the intake and build the transmission. And I still got the block sitting here covered up. I need to, until I decide what rods I'm going to use, I'm stuck. And I'm having trouble getting some info out of SD Concepts. The original people who sold me the rods back in 98 or 99, um, I think that they're just so busy that, I mean, I just think that they're so busy that I'm just a little peon and they've got so much other big stuff going on now after 25 years of being in business. And I may have to go elsewhere, elsewhere for a carb and we'll see what happens. Okay. Busy as a bee. You still working? You gonna... Oh. Uh huh. That's your brother's intake. It's too small for these heads. Look at these little bitty. These little bitty runners. Have you tried to match a gasket to that? Holy smokes. Here, let me grab a gasket real quick. Bonus. Bonus shell. That's just a regular old 360. And there's not even enough meat on the sides or the top. You couldn't. Hold on, hold on. What you doing? Taking pictures. Ila, take a chill, please. If you tried to open that up, the same size. If that gasket matches the head, I think like he did, you'd break through. Little bitty ports. That's nutty. Nutty, nutty. I mean, it'd just be, it'd be too thin, dude. And then you got this runner, little e micro runner. That's 